Meantime, there are endless examples tonight of local businesses and individuals who are trying their best to help others during this difficult time. Many local restaurants among them, they're trying to make ends meet by offering takeout. But one restaurant in Huron, in Wayne County, is also helping those on the front lines of this crisis. Kayla Green talked to the owner of that restaurant about what they're doing to help. The owner at Pier 53 has started a pay it forward program. People can call in and pay for a meal for a first responder, a healthcare worker, a senior citizen, or someone who has lost their job. The owner here says this is not only a way to bring in business to his restaurant, but to help those who may be struggling right now. So if we survive this, this will be, we should be able to survive anything. Brian Ritter is the owner of Pier 53. He says the pay it forward idea came from a friend who wanted to donate to the restaurant. I just wasn't a big fan of just, you know, taking somebody's cash for nothing. I'm, you know, I'm not looking for that. And we came up with this pay it forward thing. And um, he donated $200 to start it off and threw it up there to public safety, medical staff, the, you know, the guys that are out working, you know, 20 hour days right now. Ritter says the idea took off. People started calling in to donate meals. This way, you not only help your local restaurants, but you're also helping your community, your, your people that are your next door neighbor that may have just lost their job. Ritter says through these tough times, he's actually seen the best side of people. It's, it's good to see these people call in and it makes them feel good, makes us feel good. It's good to see it when the customer comes in to pick up the free meal. Um, that people do care. Sometimes it just takes something like this to bring out the best of people. Ritter says since he posted on Facebook about the program, he's sold around 70 meals. He says everyone that's called has asked to remain anonymous. They say they want to help, but they don't want the credit. In Huron, Kayla Green, News 8. All right. Thank you, Kayla.